I joined the society very young, uh, so that a lot of people don't believe that oh, 25 years old come and set up a hawker store already. Uh, like that, that's very early. Uh. But I believe that uh, long run, right, I think I will gain a lot, of, of, a lot more benefit from it. Uh. Hi, my name is Alfie. I'm 33 years old this year and I work under the management at Old Kalang Airport Road Seafood Soup. Hello, I'm Fei Fei. I'm 25 this year. I work under Oka as a head chef. How did Oka start is because that uh, the previous management, right, there's some disagreement and rather people controlling us, I think I should control the whole thing and manage the whole thing by myself as we can control the ingredient, how fresh we want to be and the standard of the soup. So I have decided to come out from there and start up a new store but still named as Old Kalang Apple Root Silver Soup. Previously, right, I mixed with the wrong company. Uh, so that my life was at a very down point. Uh. I have a lot of current skill. Uh. I want to get a decent living, uh, earn a decent earning for my life. So that by chance, I have a chance to work under Yan Zi at Old Apple Road. So uh, I just, okay, uh, start out. Uh, let's, go, let's go and join. Uh. So that from there, right, from the lowest point, cashier, washing of things, till uh, cooking, uh, so slowly progress, till now, I'm out of my own. Uh. I wasn't always into the F&B industry. I'm from the tourism industry, in fact. Uh, we met up during one of our regular drinking sessions and decided to take things one step further. The broth is made out of quite uh, more than five ingredients. Uh. So every day we change the soup back, the ingredient. But before we change, right, we need to boil at least uh, six hours. Uh. Oka's signature dish will be the Clayfish Seafood Soup, the Food Master Award uh, from 2018. How our Clayfish Soup is prepared? Firstly, we will uh, boil the mincemeat to around maybe 70% from a very low level uh, so that the soup will get very intense. So when the mincemeat is around 70% already, we will throw in the crayfish and the dory fish inside so that the flavour will come out from the ingredient. Lastly, we will put in the prawn until a certain level of the soup. We will keep adding the soup uh, slowly, bit by bit, to make the flavour more intense. So that lastly, we will add the special ingredient in. And once the special ingredient in ready and the timer, the timing hit already, right? Then the colour okay already, uh, then okay lah. Okay, our seafood soup basically starts from $6 a portion and we, we tend to be on the higher side for a hawker centre and that's only because of our high food cost. So to get the very thick uh, flavouring in our soup, right, we have to put in a lot of ingredients. Lah. So that's where bulk of the cost goes to. This is why we choose our location uh, next to the wet market. Lah, because we can get a lot of fresh ingredients from the market, like the minced meat, lah, the sea prawn, lah, the crayfish, lah, or we try to get it uh, from the wet market lah, because it's just opposite only. Lah. So the ingredient will be fresh and daily we will get it. We have a very special secret menu, I would say, that is available only on weekends. So uh, how it came about was, uh, sometime back there was this special guest who actually requested for our crayfish soup. But she is particular about the fish choice. So she wants grouper in it instead of the regular dory fish that we use. Every order that we have, right, we have a special color code clip that we clip on. And to make that special bowl, right, we use three different colors, like red, blue, and yellow. So she say it's so colorful, so she call it Power Ranger. La. We want them to be satisfied with the whole dining experience over here. La. Because after all, eating in Hawker Center, it tends to be a little hot, not the best place to dine in. So hopefully when they come and eat, they feel that it's worth the, the trip and the time.